Today we're going to be binding an Orange RX receiver. Now we're going to be using the Orange RX R920X. Now this is the new generation of CPPM or PPM receivers. However, the process for binding is pretty much identical for any Orange RX receiver. So let's go ahead and bind the receiver. The first step in the process is to select a new model on your transmitter. In this case, I've selected and named it Model 7 DT1. 150. You can call it whatever you like depending on the model you're binding it to. So refer to your transmitter's manual to find out how to select a new model, set the model up exactly how you want it and then turn the transmitter off. Now every receiver comes with a bind plug. Now that's what you see here on the right and you're going to need your bind plug in order to do this. Take your bind plug and insert it into the bind port on the side and in this case that is the first port all the way up top. Next, you have to power up the receiver using a power source. Now, your power source could be a BEC or battery illuminator circuit or a LiPo. In this case, I'm using a 2S LiPo and I wouldn't recommend using any more than a 2S LiPo as this could really burn the receiver out. Now, also pay attention to the polarity of the connection. With all these Orange RX receivers, the signal wire is all the way up top. The red wire or the positive is in the middle and the black ground wire is at the bottom. So make sure your polarity is correct, otherwise you will burn your receiver. Now once you've powered up the receiver, you'll see that the LED will start to blink or rather flash very fast. And this means that the receiver is in the bind mode. Now hold down the trainer or bind button on your transmitter and power the transmitter on. And now the transmitter is also in the bind mode. Now keep holding down that trainer button for about four to five seconds and then go ahead and release the trainer button. The transmitter goes back to its regular screen and if you look at your receiver you'll see that the receiver has gone from flashing to a solid LED. The binding process is now complete and your receiver is now ready to use. Now don't forget to remove your bind plug from the receiver once you're done binding. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more how-to videos and reviews. Thanks for watching.